guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to episode 7 of season 3 of Attack on Titan. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, what the hell could be a new scene of favorite part? I mean, I don't know. My guess last week, which I think is not true, is test tubes, one, like a big behind test tube water with a person inside of it but i don't think that's it or it could be someone who's like i don't know it's mr x from resident evil 2 that's who's down there right now he's just waiting for everybody to come and then once they open the door he gonna run with his freaking top hat and his coat and he gonna kill everybody and then that's the end of attack on titan i don't know but whatever it is it's I'm so excited, but I'm going to have questions about So we're probably not even going to see it until, like, what, the second half of the episode? Not to film you guys.
Mm. Now, see, it just makes me still think in the back of my mind, like, if he chose Erwin, what it would have been like. I mean, we're now getting ready to see what it's going to be like because of the fact that he chose Otomi. But what if there's a point where he's going to, it's going to maybe be like two, three years from now, and he's going to regret that decision? Because of course he regrets it now, but. First, I'm going to flash back to it.
Mm-hmm. You know I'm scared. Because he knows what the fuck is down there. What's wrong? Is it not opening? Wait! Uh -uh. Okay. Second off this way, not hold on. That too.
there's something else. Oh! And that might be used to open the door. Open it. There's nothing inside. Mm -hmm. But I feel So then you're telling me there are people outside of the fucking wall. Are they going to meet them? I'm, I'm confused right now. I, I'm going to have to watch this episode again. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad they got the books. That's the good thing. And, you know, while Maria was taken back, everything's good now. Where It's just the people that we lost and everything, it's still... It was upsetting, but it's just everything, it's fine for now, but of course, you know, bad things are going to come. And maybe with, because now we have like three episodes left, anything can happen. And I mean, it didn't really end this episode on a cliffhanger, even though we technically have like two more minutes left. Um, So I don't really know what's going to happen in those last two, but I, I thought they would have just sat there and like read a little bit of what were in the journals. But I'm guessing we're going to do that next week. But still. I'm just, if Irvin was still alive and he hadn't passed away, I think he would have been relieved. 
maybe a little satisfied, but I, I still, you know, I'm skeptical. I, I'm torn about the fact that, you know, of what all has happened. Oh, dang. Is that, um, one of them is, oh my God. Yeah, one of them is Aaron's dad. And I think it's that one right there, because I think the other one is a girl. Oh, is it the? I'm guessing this is, yeah, that's gonna have that's what's gonna happen in the next episode, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, there was humanity, there was tech, like technology, and I, I was thinking. Because the biggest thing that I had always wondered when I when I watched episode one or how even season one, like, what was it like so many years before all of this happened? And, uh, I don't even know what to say about this. Like, I, I wasn't expecting that, but... um. What I like, kind of what I assumed is when like the airship was gonna go past and where the wall was, I thought there was going to be like, um, not another town. I thought it was gonna maybe be like the beach or maybe a river or something close because I kept thinking like, oh, okay, well maybe everything that's all that was all um everything that was all was grass was something else and it was just a town. Okay, um. Mm-hmm. 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 I just want to know what's in them journals. That's it. Even though um, the picture has, like, a little bit, which is, um, it's Faye and then, uh, Aaron's dad, and then I'm guessing Aaron's, not Aaron's mom, um, Aaron's dad's mother. So his sister, his, him, and his mom. Okay. Alrighty. I'm just, I'm a little confused. I, I got a lot of questions, but of course my questions ain't gonna be answered till next week. Okay, just, mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm going to watch this episode again. The, the, like, mm. To go from, I do like the fact is that we're going into the past and we're possibly going to learn about what happened to make everything the way it is now and just what led up to it, but, mm. I'm guessing, like, all the, the journals are, like, entries of what he, what all transpired, learning the truth about everything, and so... When they go, when we go into next week, Levi or um, Hunch, someone's gonna go back and read it, and we're gonna see everything go back and forth between "quote unquote" modern day and into the past. Okay, okay, yeah, just a uh, fucking confused. Just I, I would have never thought that. Mm-hmm. Just. Mm -mm. I just got fucking questions. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got a whole bunch of fucking questions. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 7 of season 3, part 2 of Attack on Titan. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday for episode 8. Bye, guys.